as you can see, Rocket is sleeping on my cardigan, so it's not that I'm a really messy person, I promise. Today, we are going to be doing something rather what I think is like the best thing ever, and that's talking about free patterns and where you can get them from, but also how you can customize them to make them your own and learn new designs and all that jazz. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and we're gonna dive straight on in. So I'm gonna hop onto my laptop, which is covered in loads of knitting, and I'm gonna screen record so you can sort of see the different websites I use. So I'm gonna insert that footage now. Okay, so I've got my glasses on so I can actually see now because I have to take them off um, when I'm filming normally. And I didn't quite realize that I can actually use them for my phone because I can't use it with my camera. So this is good to know. Maybe I'm going to convert to using my phone a little more. I'm just going to try <laughs> and show you a couple of different things. If I can figure out how to screen record, I promise I'll cut some of this out so you don't just watch it thinking it's really painful. File. New screen recording. Great. Okay. Figured it out. Brilliant. Um, capture entire screen. Let's go. Oh, wait, no, I just took a photo. Record. Okay, cool. We have done this now. Here you go. So we're going to start with Ravelry. I'm going to do this properly now. So um, Ravelry is really, really great because it's got a community, it's got patterns, it's got um, yarn recommendations and bits and bobs as well. So if we go on to patterns, you can simply search free knitting patterns and it will load absolutely loads up. On the left hand side there's like a little section -y bit and I mean I wish I had a dog now. I wonder if I could make this for the cat. Seamless dog sweater but you can literally just pop on in and hit download, um, add to favourites, nice and easy. So Ravelry is brilliant because I don't know how many it said but there are gazillions. Hundred, well from what my search was which depends if people have optimised them or not from my search for free knitting patterns, 132,631 as of today, so you're not going to be without choice. So that's number one. I hope, yes, I am still recording, just had to double check. Number two, Facebook. If you are on Facebook, I am, but I don't really use it particularly often. I'm in cat groups and knitting groups and that's all I care about. Um, and what's really good is... Um, there's different groups and there's different pages for free patterns and people will share videos and PDF downloads and all that jazz which really great. One that I do enjoy being in is the Centro because people make amazing stuff with, with that even though technically it's a toy. Um, but yeah there's absolutely zillions of stuff living on Facebook so that is another one you can use. Another social media which is also great. Pinterest, I think everyone in the craft world loves Pinterest. There are so many and this is a good way to find different websites that have more free patterns as well. So this one is from In The Loop Knitting and you can simply follow the link. I don't want notifications, Pinterest. Um, and it will take you to web page and you can find more and more and more free patterns. So Pinterest is really good. Um, it's nice, quick and easy and if you're on it already, just create another board, another knitting board. I've got way too many, but hey ho, and hair colours and shoes and all these things I really don't need in my life. Another one, we're on YouTube. YouTube is one of the best resources for free patterns and advice on knitting. So I literally just chucked in the search free knitting patterns, as you can see, one I prepared earlier. And there are so many. And if you want to be more specific um, on what you want, so you might want a knitted skirt. Here you go. So there's uh, free patterns on there and a lot of them will have PDF downloads or written in the description because people are very kind online. The craft community is just like the best people. Um, not saying that because I'm in it, but it's the best people. Okay. My favourite one at the moment anyway, I've been buying so much stuff from here and they have a really good thing on a Monday which is a hobby bingo which is at 4 o'clock UK time in which nice little community meeting, people playing bingo, you might win some yarn. Um, not sponsored, wish it was, but um, I don't know what has happened here. It's like blended my website with the, I think it was the Norwegian one. So if I just go on to knitting patterns, here you go. So I am the sweater that I will I think I've already shown you or I'm going to show you depending on how I edit this video together um, is from 
here. Um, it's this Copenhagen Stover. Um, and I kid you not, the free patterns are amazing. The yarn, I have been really pleased with it so far. I just placed another order that I probably shouldn't have, but you know, keeps me busy. Um, and there are so many different things. And it's not just knitting, they have some great crochet patterns. I want to do this Edgar slipover. Clearly I'm in a slipover um, sweater vest season, even though it is spring. Um, yeah, and this Osaka cardigan, there's so many I want to make. <laughs> um, and they've got loads of different difficulties um, and different things depending on what you want. So if you've got pets and home, um, you can sort by different designers, um, difficulty, and they've got crochet as well. Not a crochet, I wish I was a crochet, but there is so much here as well. Um, and what's really good as well, the patterns that are paid for are fairly affordable. Um, like this really cute little easter egg um, idea and yeah I think it's really good because people can put their own patterns on here much like Ravelry and Pinterest and Facebook but there's loads you could get lost you could keep going there are so many cute things and then one that I think is maybe in the knitting community people are a bit funny about wool in the gang that they think it's overpriced for me when I got started it was expensive but I think it was worth it because their patterns which I do have some, have one floating around while I prepared earlier. So I actually have one that came in a kit. Right in the, oh, squeeze myself along. One that came in a kit and then one that I bought. And they are really good in terms of explaining and they do have all the videos linked um, to different techniques. So this is what the patterns look like. I This one's not as easy, even though it's meant to be, it's an intermediate one. But the beginner patterns actually make some really nice things and it does take the stress out of it, especially if you don't know anything about knitting <laughs> or crocheting or whatever craft you're wanting to do with them. The ones you pay for that come without the yarn are definitely a lot better and they do actually tell you the different yarns that they recommend. But obviously when you're new to knitting, you don't necessarily understand the different yarns. I'm still figuring some of that out for myself. So their kits are really good, but they are on the pricier side. But their free patterns, once you do know what you're doing, are great. And obviously, once you understand different yarns, you don't have to purchase their yarns. And that's same with all these patterns. You don't have to get them from the same person. But they have some really nice ones. I really like this watermelon sweater. Um, but yeah, they've got some really good ones. They do update them fairly often as well. So this is a kind of classic twist on sort of the sweater that people used to wear when they play cricket or tennis so loads of good stuff on here and another one as well actually which i didn't know is stitch and story um i think they closed down for a bit which is a bit depressing but they had some really cute snoopy kits which i wish i did get now because my mum absolutely loves Snoopy. Yes, I don't know why I'm scrolling. It's because I'm getting distracted by filming on the camera as well. Say camera, it's my phone today. They have, their blog is really, really good actually um, in terms of like nabbing ideas, but um, do, 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 knitting. I'm pretty sure they have free patterns. They used to have free patterns. Maybe I'm lying to you all. Maybe they don't anymore. Anyway, they're a really good resource because they do have some good videos, especially on different stitches and getting started. Probably shouldn't be promoting those because, you know, plan to have those on my channel. They've got some good stuff, so. And there's loads of good just videos out there in the world um, that you can utilize. Next one, Wallbox. Really, oh, scary website when you do that. Um, <laughs> So they have loads of free patterns that again, people have uploaded willingly and they have some really unique things and I think that's quite nice. So there's some really cute cats, kind of look like the jelly cat. If you know what I'm on about, I'll put a picture up, but it kind of looks like the jelly cat Siamese. I mean, they're all one and the same, these type of websites, but I'm just sharing some so you've got them if you do want to do some digging. This is really cool. Um, if you're in the UK, Hobbycraft have them. Um, I actually think they in the store near me they have a couple printed out that you can like pick them up and things. Knit a snail pattern, that's something I never knew I needed to do. They have some good ones on here as well. This reef is so cute. 
more things I want to make and can't afford to make because yarn isn't free like the patterns. Um, and then Lovecrafts, they have quite a lot. I finally have loads of baby stuff um, and a lot of crochet things. I don't think I've actually done a pattern from Lovecrafts. I've downloaded ones to do and I haven't actually looked at them. I, yeah, there's loads on here. You could just keep going forever. And what's good, again, on many of these websites as well, just click on this one. You can just download them. You can add to your witch, li witch list. <laughs> I probably have one of those. Um, a wish list and it appears in your library and your account and stuff. So you, you've got them for later if you need them. So that's really good. And then I probably should have started with this one, but it's the easiest place to go. Google. Literally just search free knitting patterns. So much will come up and obviously depending where you are in the world, depends what results you'll get and what is also really good obviously you get the video suggestions sadly mine are not there but um there are in the image section so many good things and obviously you can kind of filter through um like chunky easy shawl sweater whatever you're looking for and I mean you can see there's love crafts there's pinterest here there's a youtube video um here you go craft world 12 free style craft knitting patterns and you can go off and explore all these different websites so that is the web portion concluded i felt like all i did was ramble for 15 minutes but yeah now we're going to go on to like the physical resources which do make a difference in being able to customize and create unique projects so we're going to switch to that now the way we can improve these patterns and make them our own is using a couple of physical resources which I have collected a, a fair few in my time even though I'm fairly new into like the knitting world I've been able to knit for a long time I did knitting class when I was in primary school but I hadn't really done it until recently and I'm really enjoying it one of the things that my boyfriend got me when I started getting back into knitting is this learn to knit block by block book and when I got started I found it scary <laughs> uh, to say the least i found these diagrams really complex even though the photos are really good and they do help it just has a lot in it and as you can see even from the cover there's some very complex designs but what is really good is once you kind of get to the grips of the basics this is a really good way to be able to learn some new skills new patterns new designs and be able to Oh, Luna's just making a way out. I can't remember where I was, but yeah, there's some really good designs and stitches to learn from this. And you can incorporate those into various patterns. So for example, there is one that I have been doing, which I'm gonna do a video on, plan to do a video on, which is called the double, double moss stitch. And this is what it looks like in the book. This is the little swatch that I have been doing and just practicing actually a really easy stitch um it looks more complicated than it is would have been yeah so here you go so that's that stitch and this is just a ball of yarn from rowan i like these for just testing bits because the yarn's really really soft but for example so this is a stitch i've been testing hadn't really done before figured it out now here is a pattern that i will show you on hobby which i'll put somewhere around here and oh you don't want a knitting needle in the way there you go um this looks really odd right now because it's all on hold in various different places so it's got one for the back stitches but this is just a vest that i'm making at the moment and for example this is just in stockinette stitch at the moment but if i really wanted to i could keep the ribbing and then change the stitch that i'm doing to be double moss or whatever stitch I wanted to be. And what's really good on the hobby patterns, I think this one here that I've got printed out for another thing, um, does it the same way. And this is a good thing when you're looking for patterns that you want to customize as well, is ones that they do um, in centimeters, inches, or any form of measurement rather than number of rows are really, really good. And especially once you get used to making stuff for yourself, and you know your measurements, it gets very, very easy to be able to customize things for yourself. Yes, so this one does say measure till one centimeter and all that jazz. Would fully recommend printing them out. I scribble all over my patterns and makes it a lot easier and probably more complicated all at the same time. So that's that. Another couple of things that I find really useful. I love this. How lovely is this? 
probably more com too complex for me at the moment but I bought it with the hope that one day I'll be able to do it and I like having stuff like this around just because it's so inspiring to have and even in terms of colors and not necessarily the patterns some of them are too complicated but this for example I probably could manage this obviously I bought this for a couple pounds I think this was three pounds it's got about four different patterns in and this is a good way if you find some cheap patterns that you like um, even if you're not at the skill level right now, you can use them to be able to customize various things. Again, if I was just, I can make a scarf, that's easy. That is number one on the list of learning how to knit is knitting a scarf. But this is a, another level <laughs> of knitting, um, being able to do like a fair aisle print. So I like keeping these around for inspiration and figuring out different colors as well. And that is another way you can make your patterns look really cool is changing colors. Even with this one that I've been knitting, if I wanted to, I could have done stripes and that would have mixed up a little bit as well. Uh, last one from me that is a physical resource is using magazines. I got this from Lovecrafts for a couple of pounds because it is very out of date. It's from the year we all would rather forget 2020. And what I really like about this i was drawn to it purely by this jacket which the pattern is in here for it but when i got it in my little knitting haul which i get many knitting hauls because i have a bit of an addiction it has all these lovely ideas and different colors and it's got information on different yarns and it's brilliant so here you go different yarns that the patterns are using and it's got all the different patterns in which look rather scary. I think if I was gonna do one of these, I would actually photocopy it um, because I would like to keep one copy clean. Magazines, you probably can go onto eBay or something and find really cool retro old patterns um, and old pattern magazines to purchase. And my mum, she has a knitting machine and that's what she likes to do is buy all these vintage patterns, but they're really cheap. So it's a good way to get some inspiration, even on color new stitches. I do want to make this. I will make this at some point. I'm recording it and holding myself accountable. But this is the last physical resource. So, oh, I didn't realize that having a little cuddle over there. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe. If you like these type of videos where I'm more involved, please let me know. I do like just filming myself knitting because I don't really like being on camera so much. But if you like it, I will try my best to be more visually prepared for um, videos rather than sitting in my pajamas. So give it a like, subscribe, let me know what you want to see and I'll see you next time. Bye!